The vet at the shelter said that we had to put her down. I was heartbroken. I couldn't just let them. Mimo was actually my very first foster. She was adopted by somebody else. And at about three months old, they decided that they didn't want her anymore. They threw her outside of the house in winter time. So because of the stress of being abandoned, she had developed food allergies that caused Mimo to pull out her fur. The vet said if she continued to be on that medication, she would have a whole bunch of organ issues. So I asked them to let me keep her. I was able to get her off her medication and she made it to a year old. Once Mimo was better, I decided I wanted to get her a sibling. I always really loved brown tabbies. So I went to a cat event and I saw Kiri there. And as soon as I saw him, I fell in love with him. He had gone from event to event trying to get adopted. He was like so shy, hiding in his litter box. But he is the sweetest cat I have ever met. He just completed our little family. Kiri became Mimo's best friend very, very quickly. As soon as I brought Kiri into the house, Mimo went right up to the carrier door and started smelling him and licking his nose. So I knew right away that they were gonna get along. They love to play together. But the number one thing is to cuddle together. We have this thing called Mimo Squish. Kiri always wanted to cuddle with Mimo. And then he figured out that if he laid on top of her, that would be even closer. They are such a bonded pair. They were completely meant to be together. And I'm just so lucky that I get to be their mom. <laughs>